All right, what you see here is a Hunter Infinity ceiling fan in gloss black finish. It's from the second quarter of 1993, and I got this fan from Brendan C. Johnson about a few months ago. I'm doing another video of it with the gloss black blades now that I have a spray painted spotlight kit on it. It's very classy with the black blades on it, especially with the light kit on it. But I do like it more with the rows of blades, even with the white kit on it. It still looks pretty nice with it. With the um, gloss black blades with the spotlight. So, um, yeah. But I also like put this in a room that I would honestly put it up like this if the living room had more black than like wood furniture. If our wood furniture was just black, I would probably put it up like this, to be honest. At the same time, I feel like I would put it with the wood blades either way just to, um, just to give it some contrast. <clears throat> but, um, one of the reasons why I wouldn't put it up like this is, as you guys can tell, the blades are kind of warped upwards a bit. And also, the, the black side is not as good of a shape as the rosewood side. Plus, it kind of gets dirtier easier and such, so, yeah. But it definitely is very classy looking. I really do like how it looks. I mean, yeah, it works well. And such. It's a pretty unique fan from the 90s. With all these Hunter fan if you're fans, I've always been one of my favorite fans from Hunter. It actually might be my favorite out of all of them, to be honest. Nah, aside from the original, but parents wise, I think this might be my favorite one, to be honest. Definitely very, definitely a unique design to them, especially out, coming out of the 90s. And there's the Hunter logo right there. Let me go ahead and show it with the light. No, no, before that, I'll just show the, some of the, there's one of the arrows on the spotlight. Well, I'm not going to be using all the parts from this one when I install this sometime in the future on the spotlight kit, when I install this fan. Sometime next year, hopefully. If I do install it, that is. I'm going to be getting parts from another black spotlight kit that's already busted. In some areas, I'm going to be talking out some parts from this one that didn't come out too well, in my opinion, and use it on another and swap out the parts from the other one. And these ones still come from the other one on this one. So it'll be more like this area. I'm just going to be swapping out the center. Let's go ahead and turn the lights on. Let's work. I'm using the same LED light bulbs from, that I used before, which is, are actually the ones from the bright brass one in the living room. Let me go ahead and shut off the light. The bedroom and see all the lights of the room. It does a pretty good job. I don't see what in my opinion is in my bedroom. The only thing is, you know, the one thing that it would not match with is my bed frame. I really don't want to swap that out for or stain it a darker wood finish. Because if it gets dusty, it would be a lot more noticeable. So I just keep it the way it is and just have a white ceiling fan in my bedroom with bleached oak blades. So, um, yeah. I think this one's more classy for the. classy enough for the living room. It's more eye catching. I'd have some like this in the living room instead. I don't know if I was to put the mission in the living room, I would put this one in my bedroom instead. Um, yeah, here's low. When I went back to college today, I actually got a video from the fans of the school store. They actually got some new fans, finally. They didn't have any later on in the year, but they start... From what I know, they like sell them at the beginning of the semester. For those who do, like, move into the college and such. Just so they can get settled and such. And then they start selling them after a while, I think. <clears throat> but, um, nothing great, but decent stuff, at least. But, um, yeah, this is a fan I can definitely see, like, in a... I can also see this fan being installed, like, in a Blockbuster video retail back when it was still, back when it was still around. Well, they're still around, but it's not too many stores left. There's, like, maybe 12 of them left. A lot of people do think they're insane, but something like this kind of reminds me of... 
I think that would be like in the movie theater or something like that, especially with a white kid. Definitely looks 90s looking, which is something I really do like about it. But in modern, it's 90s, which is something I really like a lot. They have like, it's, some things you see out in the 90s, they kind of have more of an, they did have a bit of an 80s look, but then you'd see some stuff from the 90s that had a tiny bit of a modern twist to it, and just, which is something I really do like. Kind of stuff that I grew up with more as a kid, so, yeah. It's a pretty good drum on no speed. I'll move it up to, well not to move it up, but give the envelope shot with delay. Definitely looks more unique with the spotlight kit with the black wings, so just with, so I'm just showing it off like the white kit. I was like spray painting this with the white kit sooner, but I wanted to do a video of it with the white, with the white one with the bleach oak blades first before I ever did this. Or before I was painting this one black. So I was wanting to get that um right at home and um I forget what the finish of it was, not the green one, the other one. Um I'll think of it in a second, but I wanted to do a video of that one first before I ever did a video of this one with the black spotlight kit because this was the only spare spotlight I had that I could paint. That was in decent enough shape. That was also a hunter one, so yeah. Who knows, this actually could end up in my bedroom at some point if I get tired of having it in the work. If I ever wanted to, to put up something even more eye catching in this in the work, I'll put, up, put this in my bedroom. I really can't say I would ever get tired of this fan being installed, but it really is a nice fan. I already showed it to my mom earlier today with some rosal boys. She said that she's totally fine with me putting this up in the living room once we get to new couches. So that's a good sign. She actually just said that this would, she even agreed with me that this would match better. Not with the black blades, but with the rosal blades that would match better in the living room than the other one, since there's a lot more black stuff to living room than brass. The only thing that's really brass is the record player, but antique brass with wood, with a wood look to it. The white ones on medium. <clears throat> As well as I like it with the rosal blades, I really do. Like quite a bit with the black blades, just I just like it a tiny bit more with the rosewood blades, only because I just like the contrast it gives a little bit better. But it is pretty sharp, all black, just in the all black finish as well. I honestly feel like if I was to put this in my bedroom, I would, I'd be more tempted to have with the black weights too, but just to get contrast, I would have, I like to have, I did, for me, like when I have ceiling fan and I have the blades, I like to have the blades that have like a wood grain look to it, no matter the finish it is, like a light oak, dark wood, something like that, I just like to have a wood look, not just a plain color, like white or black, that's just me, but, putting on a room, it doesn't, like if it was in a guest bedroom, I guess I could, I wouldn't mind it being all black. I have my bedroom right now, I kind of like to see if I fans ever like to look at the wood grain on it and such. So like if I was to put this in a bed, guest bedroom and I already and I had a spare one, 
I probably have one of them with the black cross black blades. But I already know my mom would not let me put this up if I have it just a black blade, so it's definitely going to go up with the rosewood blades. Although we did have a, a black feeling in the living room before the carousel, so she probably wouldn't be too against it. But I mean, you know, it's like some sort of like Casa Marca um, Ventura type knockoff or something like that. I'm not really sure what it was. With some black and brass, it kind of looked. I had gloss black blades, I do remember that much of it. It had like circular vents. Blast brass blade arms. I don't I know the switch cam was black and such and the switch housing. Um closing in here yeah, move that. paint the bed frame dark brown or stuff it up and just dust it more often. The wood look pretty cool in the bedroom. Would it look better in the living room? Definitely, but how do you if you wouldn't mind having a black fan in the bedroom? Would be a bit of a night catcher. Also would go well for some of stuff in the bedroom as well. The only reason why I'm kind of against putting it in the bedroom is because I kind of have another fan reserve to go up next instead of this one. Which is which happens to be the the stink the um brush steel hand to be camera two plus of the Colbat Blue Blades since I feel like that would be a better match for the bedroom than this one. I shine it off and do a spin down. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the main reason why I don't want to put this one up in here. But it'll be very difficult for me to want to take this down just to put up the blue one. The blue camera, one, that is. I like the white in this fan too much to even want to take it down, but that is a fan I've always wanted to have in my bedroom since I was a kid. A Brustio Hampton Bay camera too, plus with the Colbert Blue Blades. Which is still that fan of Mason as we speak, is in um, the back room. So, I'm gonna try to see if I can get that sent back here. Once it's repaired. Could have fixed it myself. It just needs a new cap. I didn't want to risk messing it up since I'm not too scared of it. If I was to like swap it out for the first time on a fan of the place, I'd rather do to a fan that's very really common, like a passport too. Not one that's really. That's not one that's hard to find like that fan. Or this one for example. If this one has a back cap I'd rather try to have someone else who's more skilled at it try to fix it. So um yeah. Another reason why I wouldn't put this fan with the black ways showing is because when it gets dusty it would be a lot more visible than the, it would be with the rosewood blades, so that's kind of the other reason why I wouldn't show it with the black blades. Especially if you're in the living room, it would get dusty pretty quickly since the birds are right in the kitchen, which is connected to the living room. In fact, if this was going in the kitchen, I would, I would probably use it with the black blades instead of the rosewood. I think that would make it even look more, more, it would look more like a kitchen fan if it was all black, to be honest. The rose one, I think, gives it more of a living room look. All black, well, gives it more of a kitchen look, to be, in my opinion. Alright, coming to a complete stop. Reverse it. So, hopefully, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do something about the um, black chain and the brush maker one. I might paint this. Swap the pull chain on this fan with a brush neck one chrome one. But, you know, I might 
paint that one a tiny bit black just so it matches a little bit. You'll get a sharpiness cut of it. You know, there's a sharpie something else. But one thing will be a bit. You might get like cool chains and like darker wood. Put them on this one. And like, kind of like the ones I have on them now, like the darker one that it has. And kind of just that little ring around it black instead of the anti brass version of it. Who knows? I might try. Might find something even cooler. Some even cooler pool chains for this fan. Definitely not the white and fan one, because that's. Not that I'm against it, just those are will be tricky for my mom to control since the fan pull chain itself. Like the ones they have at Lowe's, which they actually know have at Home Depot too. It's kind of a bit tricky to, to get a good grip on and that would annoy my mom pretty well. Or very easily, so. Yeah. Reverse media. The drum reverse media. Gotta shut off the light. Alright, now for high speed. On the first. Pulling starting over the script. I'm gonna tape back on me so it's about the perfect time for that. It's moving good way on the reverse. Show out the light quickly. Not 17 minutes or one, but over over in time, but send it up. I need a video now, so it's not a big deal. Alright, so, so that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for more videos to come.